Good morning. I just wanted to come to you really quick and just share with you a little bit about the, the verse that we're doing today, or this week, I mean, from 1 Samuel 17, 38 through 39. But it starts with a backstory about um, what happened before those two verses. And often that's what you have to look at um, when you just pick a verse out. And when you do that, I hope you've been reading the Bible. And when you journal about something, I hope it's not just that one verse that you read, maybe the whole chapter or a section of verses. And I'm going to try to go over with you this morning a little bit about what um, went, about the backstory of this ch chapter that these verses that we're doing for the Journaling Weekly verses from. Now, before I go any further, my name is Judith Coles, and I blog over at hisunmeasuredgrace.com. And um, I actually have two posts about David and about all this this week, because this isn't just about David and a slingshot and this armor that wouldn't fit him. There's more to it than that. And um, if you're anything like me, you have problems in your life and you have difficulties and things that happen that makes it so hard to go on. And um, I've had that in my life. I had, I had some years that were really, really hard and um, still have things that are hard. So I just want you to go and check over at my blog. Usually I link um, some of the posts in, in here. And usually what I've been doing is when I share something that I've drawn, I link the, my blog in general at the bottom because I have more than just things about um, journaling art on my blog. I have, um, I have some of that, but I have a lot of, of um, devotionals and things that would encourage women, no matter if you're young or if you're older or in between. So before... I say any more on that because um, I'm done with that. I'm going to um, go and share a little bit with the backstory. Now, this is my journaling. Whoa, that's my picture this week. And that's kind of a stretch for me because I can't draw people. And that, that's kind of why his hair is in his face. <laughs> um, but what happens is the longer that you draw, it starts to draw out of you your abilities that are inside of you. And there are some tricks and there are some ways that you can do that and you, you really can do it. And if you're like me, what I do when I feel I can't draw something, I do the verse and I do flowers around it and that seems to be much easier. And even stick people are great. But let's have fun with this this week as we try to draw about those two verses and they're linked in a post that's at, in the top of the announcements, which puts it at actually at the top of the feed if you go actually into the group. So here's the backstory. There were two mountains, okay? There were two mountains and there was a valley in between. And what happened is that the Philistines were on one mountain and the Israelites were on the other. And um, the Philistines probably could represent like the problems you're having in your life, no matter what kind of problems. I won't mention what kind of problems because you can fill that in. Um, so uh, what happened is that like Goliath, if you don't know, Goliath was this huge, huge giant and he was very scary and he was also a champion warrior. So the Israelites were very afraid of him. And um, you hear paper rattling. I've got my notes so I don't get nervous, because I am not a theologian. I don't know how to speak. I stumble over my words, and so don't try to catch me if I make a mistake. I think somewhere yesterday I gave the wrong reference. I said first, oh, Second Samuel and the whole total wrong verse, 10 verses earlier, in the wrong chapter, and I do those kind of things, and that's just because I am not perfect at all. So Goliath was a giant and his armor was really heavy. Um, in my Bible, it gives like weights that are extremely heavy. And um, it's kind of like your problems are really heavy, but he had similar armor to what, um, what Saul had that he gave to David to try on because he had the helmet 
and he had the, the coat of mail over his chest. So he has a helmet on his head, the coat of mail on his chest, and he had brass coverings on his legs and um, something brass between his shoulder. And he had a, a huge, heavy, heavy spear. Even the head of the, the top part of the spear, the point, was like, it, they gave the weight. I, I don't understand the weight. I'd have to go into a modern version or some uh, like commentary to get the weights. And that's not the point. The point is that it was really, really heavy. And he had a shield, a huge shield. So what does that all mean? Our problems can be really big, like like Goliath, get my hand in here, and, and really having weighing us down, especially when we're focusing on the Goliath of our problems. And um, here he was crying out and saying, who's going to come and fight me? I dare you. And he, he was really, you know, scaring them. And the Israelites were so afraid. The Israelite army, the men in the army, the, the mighty men, right? They were scared. And he was trying to scare them away. And he would have left, let them be like victorious, uh, he, that he would have been victorious. And they would have like lost just based on that. Um, so Saul's men were all dismayed and they were like really, really extremely afraid. They were so afraid. Well, David was back watching his feet, the sheep where his, he lived near his father. He was like out in the wilderness somewhere with a bunch of sheep. And that's what he did. And probably he would practice with a slingshot or, um, play with his harp and he would write. That's why we get the Psalms. And well, his dad told him to go and take this food to his brothers. He had, I think three brothers, don't cry. He had, no, he had, like there were eight of them, I think. But three of them, the older ones were in the army. And I, I just leave it at that. And if I'm wrong, please don't message in the comments how wrong I am. I'm not a preacher, right? <laughs> okay, so David did that. But his brothers kind of made fun of him. And anyway, he heard Goliath crying out again from that hilltop. Remember the hilltop he was on, the mountain? And he had this loud voice and scared everybody. And all the men from Israel, like, ran away and they were scared. And David, like, he was had a passion that someone needed to challenge Goliath because he was defying the army of God the living God. And he said, I'll go and fight him. His brothers are like you, you're, you're just this little puny little, um, shepherd that watches a few sheep. So, um, that gets to Saul and because nobody, maybe because nobody had offered to fight him, Saul was like, I gotta take this guy serious because there's no one else. So he comes and calls Saul, I mean, David into his presence because Saul's the king, right? And David repeats it. Yes, I want to fight them. And Saul was like, I want bases. And he was like, because I watch the sheep, he has to protect the sheep from all the wild animals out there. And he's like, I have killed a lion and a bear. And he didn't do it wearing a helmet and the shield and all that. And um, so that's where we get to the point of those two verses, because that's where um, Saul gives to him, you know, Saul's a very pretty tall man, not a giant like Goliath, but he gives him his, um, his helmet hangs over his eyes and he gives him the, the male coat of armor and it like weighs him down and it's really heavy and so forth. And David was like, I can't walk in this. I can't even wear this. This is not what I'm accustomed to wearing. And that's where we get to the point of, of this, that I challenge you to think about those two verses. Um, I will read them to you really quick. The two verses that we're concentrating on this week. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put in hel a helmet of brass upon his head. Also, his armed he armed him with a coat of mail. That's what when Saul let him put his armor on. And David girded his sword, put a sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go. He went out to, um, and to, he said, "I can't." And went out to prove, and he had not proved it or tried it. Um, and David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these for I have not proved them or tried them. I've, I haven't tried them out. And David put them 
off him. He took them off. And I read it in another version. You can read it in another version too. I just have my King James there because I like it. And when I read it, I understand it. Sometimes I stumble when I read it. You read the version that you're comfortable with. Okay. Um, I'm good with that. I'd rather you were reading the Bible than um, reading a version I like or a version somebody else likes. That's not important. Read the Bible and get into it. Um, okay. So if you go now, and, and, and I want to like um, go to my points. David was fighting, not with the physical um, shield and helmet and all that of Saul or the, the armor that belonged to somebody else. He was fighting with the armor he was familiar with, and that was the armor of faith and, and the faith in, in God to fight his battle for him and to um, go before him. He knew that if he was able to um, kill uh, Goliath, that wouldn't be in his strength. And I think sometimes we rely on our strength to fight our battles. We rely on our strength to do something. And um, like with me, with, with the things that I do, I could rely on my strength, and I often do. I often, I often have done that, and um, I want to change that. And this is, I want to put on the full armor of God. And I wrote about it in another post that's up on my blog that um, if I haven't shared it to the group, I'll share it sometime this week. But you can go to my blog and, and you'll see it there. And it goes into the armor. I don't have time for all that because this will take longer than you want to listen. So I'm sorry this took this long, but I think this is important to, to take the time to really see what these verses mean and see what the backstory is. So I hope this challenges you to, this week to allow God to fight your battles because he can and have faith that he will. Thanks a lot. This is Judith Coles. Bye.